hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna do this cut crease very simple cut crease perfect for everyday glam if you want to step up your makeup for every day this is the perfect look for you so if you want to learn how i did this then just keep on watching starting off with a clean and moisturized skin i'm using my cetaphil moisturizing cream and for primer i'm using my nivea after shea balm and maybelline baby skin to hide my pores and for foundation i'm using my maybelline fit me matte and poreless in the shade of 125 to apply that foundation i'm using my real techniques complexion sponge and just dabbing that all over my skin now concealing those dark circles i'm using my mac paint pot in soft ochre and i'm just dabbing that all over my dark circles and it will serve as an, a highlighter just to brighten up my complexion the trick for using a paint pot as a under eye concealer is just to blend out really really fast because it dries out really really fast so, so you have to blend it like really fast really fast for really fast basta mas mabilis now I'm going to set the concealer with this uh, loose powder by NYC and I'm not going to bake my under eyes because uh, my under eyes are really dry so I'm not going to sit that powder um, too long for, on my skin and I'm just going to wipe it out by using this rounder or tap tapered brush by Jess Up and I'm using my Maybelline corrector powder just to help brighten up the under eyes. Now to contour my nose, I'm using my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer. I'm gonna start off with the inner part of my brows, dragging that into the um, hollows of my nose. And it's just gonna help carve out those eyes. To bronze up my skin, I'm using the same powder that I used to contour my nose. For blush, I'm using my NARS Orgasm blush and I'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks using this Real Techniques blush brush now let me zoom you guys in for a more close-up shot on my makeup and then i'm gonna start off by using a mac, mac soft ochre paint pot just to um even out my eyelids now setting that soft ochre paint pot with a eyeshadow white eyeshadow from the morphe 35w palette and i'm gonna use a scotch tape just to define the outer edges of our eyes because it's just gonna give the cut eye look more crisp line for any eye look you want to start off with a transition color and i'm using a light brown eyeshadow from the morphe 35w palette now taking a darker brown eyeshadow and just gonna put that on the auto outer v you want to focus this look on the outer v just to give the illusion of um cat eyes then i'm gonna put a white eyeshadow that i used to set my my mac soft ochre and i'm gonna put that on my brow bone now taking a black eyeshadow and just gonna draw a cat eye and i'm gonna extend that on the crease to give the cut crease effect and you really want to blend all the colors in to give the faded look effect and using a gel liner in brown i'm using uh, the maybelline gel liner in brown rather and i'm just gonna define the um, cut eyes even more the cut crease even more by using a morphe 160116 brush so to clean up the edges i'm using my max soft ochre paint pot again and i'm using this ebay brush and i don't know what is it's called i think it is a eyeliner brush and it's really small it can get really really um precise on that wing right right there whatever whatever and i'm just gonna um outline the thing to clean it up and i'm gonna set that by using a white eyeshadow from the morphe 35w palette as well and i'm using the same brush uh, from ebay coating my lashes with this nyc leak nyc liquid liner no nyc mascara and i didn't like this mascara at all it doesn't do anything on my um, eyelashes and i'm gonna use this rimmel scandal eyes in nude and i'm gonna put that on my waterline and i'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line too and i already put um, lashes on and taking my favorite highlighter wet and wild blush and glow trio and i'm using my morphe fan brush and for the lips i'm using color pop in trap 
Hope you guys enjoy this look and see you again on my next one. Bye guys.